After having proclaimed the provisions by God for salvation of Jew Gentile, in which God commended his love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8 The Apostle Paul goes on to detail the results and benefits much more than, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Romans 5 verses 9 to 11. Breaking this down, much more then speaks to expanding the benefits of what he has just discussed and noting that this will be far greater benefits. And the benefits include being now justified by his blood, which speaks to a current possession of justification, the reconciliation as a result of Christ's provision for salvation, and our appropriation of this provision by belief of the Gospel 1 Corinthians 15,1-4. And obviously, one of the long-term benefits of the believer's reconciliation is that of being saved from wrath through him. This speaks to what we have been saved from in our reconciliation. It also clearly notes that apart from this reconciliation by Christ's death, people are destined for God's wrath in eternity. Much more than continues that, given our reconciliation by the death of God's Son, while we were yet enemies, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. This speaks of what we have been saved to. The life of the Son of God, our Savior, and the believer's union with him in salvation provides for eternal life and that eternal life does not begin someday but right now. The believer has been saved to live in this reconciled state with benefits that are not just in the life to come but in the life that is now. Much more than addressing the life that is now, notes that we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Again, this is a joy that does not begin someday but right now. This is the joy in which we live because we have now received the atonement. And this atonement is not based on Israel's Old Covenant or New Covenant, but this is a mystery teaching and provision that speaks to the current position and possession of forgiveness, completeness, acceptance, and righteousness of members of the body of Christ. Believer, come to know the much more than of your position in Christ and live it now.